Good morning everyone. Joe here on the Different Fins channel. This morning and today I'm fishing a lake that I've wanted to fish for several years. I'm still in northern Manitoba. It's still a trout lake. Yesterday I was fishing Barbie near the Paw of Manitoba. Today I'm at Footprint Lake just north of uh, Grand Rapids. It's a stock trout lake, but there's not one, not two, not even three, but four kinds of trout living in this, uh, in these waters. It has brook trout, rainbow trout, those two I caught yesterday in Barbie, but it also has tiger trout and brown trout. Those are two trout that I've never caught before. I've never caught a brown. A tiger is a hybrid between a brown trout and a brook trout. And I'm hoping to catch a couple of them. It's like eight feet. Go, oh, fish on. First fish. It's pretty strong. <laughs> what do we have? We are starting with a rainbow. First fish of the day. Marvelous hook. I'm not keeping any today. It's going right back in the water. All right, I guess I found the spot. Same thing as Barbie, I got like almost same situation. I have three feet of ice. The total depth is eight feet. So I'm fishing about five feet of water. And I'm probably, probably about 10 yards away from the edge of the weed line. So it looked like a good spot, felt like a good spot. Evidently is a good spot. Let's get back down there. I think what excites me the most about this lake, besides the new species potential, is just the fact that every time you get a fish, you don't know what it's going to be. I love that, the multi-species factor. Wow, there is no wind right now. It's been windy all week. I'm not expecting it to stay nice like this all day, but for the moment, I'm going to enjoy it. Here we go. Let me have it. We'll do it that way. <laughs> oh. Second fish, brook trout. It's very small, but they're just so pretty. Look at that. 
second species of the day. One cool thing about these uh, stocked trout, well, brook trout, rainbow trout, whatever, quite often they'll hit more than once and they often miss on the first hit. So you'll feel a tap and then it like alerts you. You can pay attention and set the hook on the next hit. Oh, there's the tap. I know there's a fish down there now. There's the fish. Oh. Lost it on the bottom of the ice. There we go. Fish number three. It's a nicer, it looks like a nicer brook trout. Or Nice brook trout. Beautiful fish. Show you what I'm using quick. That's it. One sixteenth ounce Whistler jig from Northland and a one inch gulp minnow. You don't have to go very big with these things. Catches the small ones and the big ones. So I just reel down until it's tight, and that's how far off the bottom I'm jigging about two feet. These trout also love a moving bait, just keep it swimming, keep it bouncing. They love that. I get more hits on this than I do with the set line. been a while. What do we have? Looks like another brookie. Just gonna let him finish spazzing out. Straight over to the live well. Another brook trout. It's beautiful. Hello, swans. <laughs> that was a sucker came up in the hole I almost got him big white sucker that was weird hmm. that's why the hit felt so weird
go. That feels decent. Woo! Gotta be gentle. I, I lose quite a bit of fish right at the hole. I think it bumped on a, or uh, they bumped the bottom of the ice and get stuck. What do we have here? Oh! Don't lose it. Don't lose it, Joe. Haha! -ha. My first tiger trout. Check that out. I'm going to put him in the live well. <laughs> Sandhill cranes. Very cool. All right. I have my first tiger trout, first one I've ever caught in my live well. I'm just gonna give it a quick measure and then send it back down the hole. So, wet that. Oh, really quickly. Just shy of 18 inches. But what? A beautiful fish. There. Keep your hands wet, keep the bump board wet. The live wells are nice because you can take your time dealing with the fish for a healthy release. Hmm. There's the wind. It was nice out. That wind picks up and it gets instantly cold. Air temperature wise, it's actually warmer, but a little bit of a breeze feels like it's minus 20. Such a nice morning and then this happened. I'm gonna make a move. The wind picked up. The first two hours today was absolutely beautiful. Now it feels like I'm in the Arctic. The wind is coming across the lake right at me. So what I'm gonna do is walk over to that side, drill some holes and hopefully the trees give me some shelter because I'm not gonna last too much longer. Hey, let's, let's make the move. It is so much nicer on this side of the lake. I think it was a good move coming to this side of the lake. The wind is a lot more calm. Trees providing a little bit of shelter. It's good stuff. I also like the look of this uh, wood structure and probably a sunken tree popping out and I'm in about seven feet of water which is perfect three feet of ice four feet of water oh yeah it's back to being a nice day again sheltered by the trees Wind found me over here, changed direction. I'll try to tough it out for a little bit.
This I could take. Oh, fish. I was just about to quit because of the wind and I got a hit. Ah. Well, folks, I think that's it. I didn't get all four species, I didn't get a brown trout, but still, it was a good morning. I fished for about four hours, I got a handful of brook trout, rainbow trout, and my first ever tiger trout. That's uh, pretty exciting, happy about that. And the first two hours, it was just beautiful, like there was no wind, sun was rising, the fish were hitting, the wind kicked up. I, it was blowing across the lake straight at me. It was very uncomfortable. So I decided to pack up my gear, come over to this side of the lake, try it out. I had a couple hits, but just wasn't as good. So it is what it is. I'll take that. Um, I will catch a brown trout eventually. It's still on my uh, bucket list for fish to catch. So if you want to see me do that, subscribe to the channel. And it's gonna happen eventually. Anyway, I'm gonna pack up my gear and get out of here. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.